in 2002, they were all, Diddy, Autumn were chilling in New York, like hanging out, like in a group. And Diddy randomly asked a guy he just signed. I, I ain't gonna say no names though, right. but he just asked a guy that he just signed, jokingly though, out loud, like they're in, like us, just chilling. Would you would you suck a D for a million dollars? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. That's supposed to yeah. motivate you. So I know you see in all the crazy stuff that's been going on with P Diddy. Man. What is your um opinion, take. Yeah, your take on all of this. Man, it's it's just sickening, man. Like everybody now everybody not lying. All these allegations, everybody not lying, man. And I used to look up to Diddy. You know, Sean Combs, Sean Cotton, Sean Carter. Les, right. Jay Z, Diddy, like we all got the same SC shit. I know. But I, used to, <laughs> I used to use that as like fuel as like That's an motivation. executive. Yeah. But just like seeing all that shit is just like, man, that nigga is sick. He's a sick. Yeah. That but I see some people um um like Glasses Malone went live the other day yesterday the glasses. and um he was talking about like yeah they're trying to get him for sex trafficking but how is this man he's like I've been to his parties I don't see none of the stuff that they're talking about how is this man sex trafficking and the only thing I could think about you know because you know when we think about sex trafficking back in the day think about oh you kidnap somebody yeah. and then you but if you look up the meaning of sex, sex trafficking that's not really what it is and it changed when the R. Kelly situation came because that's what mm. they also got him for. Yeah. So, you know, they tweak stuff to try to get yep. you. If you underage and you fraudulently, you know, get her, you transport her from here to here to here, even if you're just taking her out, but mm. you, you know, men be lying to women and mm. women be lying to men. Yeah. And they use that against you and, you know, and put it under that bracket. Are they saying that he was flying girls out, like underage yeah. girls? That's the, it, I don't even the know the come, whole, the feds already got 95% of conviction rate. See, so, so something that we don't even know probably didn't happen. Man. And why would they have his sons in handcuffs sitting outside? I heard they took a couple of me. Now this is all alleged. Now don't try to get me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I sent you a video too. I saw it on TikTok where he said this. He had gray hair and stuff. So this had to be something recently. It was this white younger girl. Did you see that one where I'm um, underage? That he said he adopted and his sons was yep, in the background or whatever. I saw that. On I Twitter. saw that and they were floating that around like you know yeah you adopt her but like they're trying to insinuate like yeah you what, what are you doing because she was homeless and yeah. stuff like that and he even tried to clarify like no I adopted her just like Angelina Jolie adopted you know black yeah. kids and this person you know it's nothing like what people make it seem yeah. but you know people gonna take it there I'll be hearing so many stories about Diddy like I ain't gonna say his name but he told me like in 2002 they were all Diddy Autumn were chilling in New York like hanging out, like in a group. And Diddy randomly asked a guy he just signed. I, I ain't gonna say no names though, right. but he just asked a guy that he just signed, jokingly though, out loud, like they're in, like us, just chilling. Would you would you suck a D for a million dollars? Like like that. Mm. He asked him that. Wow. I think he's it's, He that, asked him that. That like, power, just that to, money in the just power. Just to see, like joke, like he asked him jokingly, but like, to you know. if he will. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Like I'm in in like behind closed doors. No Diddy. Uh behind closed doors. <laughs> um I I I've always heard like crazy shit about Diddy. Always. always. Nothing never comfortable. Nothing never comfortable. Always like some two AM. Damn. Always some some late night after the after party. After 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 party like shit. Did but you? how do straight not straight people? How do straight individuals, as in like stand up individuals, mm. not you know, stand up to him and say, yo, that's wrong or this is this, whatever. I think a lot of, I think he, I think, I think people like that go after people in survival mode. And what I mean by that is like people with power, they go after people who, who want opportunity, need opportunity, maybe be broke at the time. And people look at Diddy as an opportunity. So a lot of these people don't say no because, or they're scared to say no because they're like, well, damn, if I do go over there, maybe I can get a hip song or maybe I can get auditions in this new show or so I feel like people with power they they know which people to go with which people to fuck with 
which people they know don't have money right now that you know mm-hmm. like they, those people they I don't that's one thing about I don't even go to the club I don't go to none of that shit but if they do that I don't, fuck don't with come back shit. don't come back you voluntarily once yes, you say no you voluntarily okay yes I'm vulnerable yes I need money and you come to me and you offer whatever and I'm gonna say okay yes I'm gonna do this because I want money don't Come back years later on and say, "Well, I you agree. raped me." No, I yeah, agree you with did. That. I, agree I, with bought, that. I agreed to whatever situation it was that I you agree were with offering. That. You, yeah, once you did it, it's like, yeah, you did it, and you know, whatever. But um, no, nah, that's yeah. that's a great point. I want to, you know, I, I got a beef with you. Damn. Yeah, yeah all right, and that don't even sound right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Damn. We went, we went. I'm trying to wait. My mom already yeah, 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 yeah. We went, we went viral. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Breakfast okay. Club called out Boss Talk 101. Columbus Short uh, recently did an interview with Boss Talk 101 podcast. What, uh, who was this? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, who else? 50 Cent posted us. It went to 3 million. Academics. Quick. Academics posted what? us. The Vlad. Shade Room posted us. What? Vlad posted us. All behind Columbus Short when he said that on Boss Talk 101, he called me over at 2.30 in the morning and said, it's just me. I said, who is this? It's Sean. I'm like, Sean? It's Puff. I'm like, oh, what's good? You're talking low like that? You're talking low. So I was <laughs> So I was like, hey, what's good? I said, what's cracking? He said, ah, we didn't see you. We didn't see you tonight at the BET Awards. We didn't see you tonight. He said, uh. He's checking uh, in. He said, what, 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 you, what you doing? I was like, oh, man, I'm at the crib. He said, oh, yeah, we over here at the, um, he said, I'm over here at the, um, the Beverly Hills Hotel. I said, oh, for real? So who over there? Just me. That's boss talk. And what's so crazy? <laughs> when I just said the 2 a.m. shit, I seen you. got that on boss but, talk. But look, though. And Say Cheese didn't post us. But, no, no, That's no. why I'm a mess but no, no, no. <laughs> See, I, I watched it. I don't think Say Cheese be posting people like nah, that. Nah, man, I, I post a lot of people. You do? Yeah, I... I Nobody in Dallas posted us, no, but, but the world that, posted us. Oh, nobody in Dallas. Breakfast Club bro, posted us. Bro, uh, no, look, look, look. <laughs> I, I watched that, but all you had to do was just text me like, bro, post that. It's everywhere. I don't know. We don't ever nobody. tell nobody to post us. I need to do that. Yes. You should have told me that. You about to say you about to be my mentor. You about to be helping hey, me. I'm gonna call you right back. Bro. <laughs> you you supposed to be helping me. I didn't bro. know that part. No, I did watch it. <laughs> I did watch it, but I just. Damn, bro. Shout out to Jess Hilarious. Yeah. She must yeah. got to love Boss Talk 101 because she say, on Boss Talk 101, that was the first time we ever been on there like that. Mm. That was crazy. That's big, That's though. huge. Everybody that's called. Big. AD called me from No yeah. Jumper. Well, X No Jumper, Chameleon. Yeah. He was like, man, E, that's you said big. The same you should thing be to proud of that. Dallas Global said he didn't post us either. I told Dallas told Global, him. nobody posts bro, up from the city. When nobody. I you, when I tell you News. But I know you would have posted for me yeah, if I called you. you. Hey, hey, this shit going everywhere, bro. <laughs> but I, I didn't think we you had to. I didn't think that we had to. Just, I thought that people just see it and be like, yeah, oh, yeah, but it's just so much news and so many outlets and it's, I know you would have yeah, posted bro. Cause people wonder how we get Sean Cotton all the time. Yeah. It's like you everybody, you don't I don't even bother you and everybody don't get mad at me. A lot of people be trying to get a hold of you through me, yeah. and I won't do it because I'd be like, if it don't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. But I pro- I could be wrong. But a lot of times I don't bother you because yeah. I'll be like, eh, I'm not messing with him about that. No, but if it's that. something that's that I don't think fits yeah. what you would even mm-hmm. deal with. You right. know what I mean? Like I watch a channel and I watch things that you do. I'm like, he not for, I'm not for the bother. That. I want you to understand when I call you, it's about something. Exactly. And that's what I A lot of people believe. And that's what I told uh, Yellow Beezy. A lot of people waste favors just because they know they can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he was like, why you? he said on the show, why you never let me do a feature for any of your artists? I said, because... It's the, when the time is right, when, my, when I call you, you gonna know it's real. That's real. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not gonna call you just cause niggas will call you cause they know you got money just so cause they know you're not gonna say no. no yeah, I'm, I don't, I don't move like. That. So you know how I am. You didn't figure me out yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. uh, I try to stay solid with the with the things that I do, mm-hmm. and I know that my name stand on everything that we at exactly. Boss Talk. If I call whoever, and I I, I just I, it gotta mean something. I'm like yeah. you yeah. with that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.